Ready? Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Welcome to another video. Today, Mum and I, uh, or Mrs. Fabric Washing Fairy, also known as Jane, are going to be doing our Festival of Quilts fabric haul. And um, we could be here for a while because we bought everything. We bought all the things, did we not? Too much. <laughs> yes. But we have plans for everything, right? We do. Yeah, nothing was bought without a purpose. No. So, yes. We'll start with the very first thing that I bought. Oh, and just, we, yeah, we had an amazing time, didn't we? Well, oh, this it was is brilliant. Your third year. In a row, third year in a row and my second year in a row and uh, mum very kindly treated us all to VIP tickets which is awesome because you get your own seating area you get mm. your own um, cafe as well so mm. if you want food you can get it without having to wait for hours mm. um, yeah definitely definitely worth the extra money and you get little cards that give you um, discounts off of stuff which we took advantage of um, so yeah the very first thing that I went knowing that I wanted to buy was from M Rosenberg and Stun and they have a different name online and I will link all of the shops and stuff down below in the description bar um, but the very first one ugh, that I wanted was this and it's a linen viscose blend and it's called summer scream and mum bought some at the knitting and stitching it's show mine <laughs> yes so I'm copying mum but um, mum's just got the navy background yes and so I wanted the white background and I wanted to make another Vogue 8577 with this, um, which is the Snake Corsage shirt dress that I've, sh I've shown you in my June, June lookbook. Um, and so I needed, I asked for five and a half metres and they happened to be six metres on the roll, so I've got the last six metres. Um, yeah, really like this. I'm looking forward to making that. And I think it's going to be really nice because it's got a really nice drape to it, it's got a nice mm. weight. So, mm. yeah. Looking forward to making that one up. I have no idea when I'm going to make the time for all of these things, but that break. Let's do one of yours now. <gasps> well, we went past this uh, store and oh, what's her name? Her name is Elisa Chandler and it's Lisa L-E-E-S-A Chandler and she's Australian. And she had these beautiful quilts on the wall and this fabric's called Melba and the quilts were stunning and then we saw the actual fabrics that she had as well and um, you fell in love didn't you? I just fell in love with it. I think we'll make a wonderful dress rather than a quilt. Yes. And then I can use the bits left over in one of my quilts. Yes. Because I'm very, a quilter really. Yeah, but you're very good at that as well. Very good at like using all, because <laughs> she's got all of my scraps, all of my teeny tiny scraps go into her, her scrap boxes and um, do get used, don't they? Yeah. And I'm, she was also selling she had this lovely scarf that went with, hopefully, the dress in the future. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what dress it's going to be yet, but... Mm. Um, it needs to be a simple design, yeah, though, I thought, so didn't it? To, to make the most of the, of of the, the print fabric. and not break it up too much, not too many darts or star lines and stuff, mm. but I'm sure we'll find something. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mum had bought that one fairly early on in the day, because we, we'd, we'd done this route where you started in one corner and we were working our way up and down each of the aisles, and... Um, got to the end of the shopping bit <laughs> and I still had some money left which is usually unheard of but I've been thinking about that fabric all day and she did it in a different colourway so I went back and again copied mum <laughs> um, and I got the pinky um, uh, grey colourway that is on the cream background and it's got silver tones in it uh, whereas that one has gold ones and I also bought a scarf because you know so pretty and I bought um, half a meter of the border print one that she did which was what she was using for the sashing and stuff on quilts wasn't mm -hmm. it and she, it was mm -hmm. really effective but I thought it would make awesome necessary clutch wallets have I got that all right yes I have so um, yeah I got half a meter of that as well um, so yeah necessary clutch wallets scarf and a dress eventually <laughs> see Mum's being all neat and folding hers up again. Mine's ending up in a pile on the <laughs> sofa over there. And, and because we'd come back um, mm. again, she gave us what, each one of these little kits which to make a flower basket. And it's um, two of the other prints that go with the range in the cream and the black. Um, but they are, I think it makes a fat quarter with both pieces. Mm. 
Um, yeah, they're an eighth, yeah. aren't they? They're an eighth. An eighth, eighth quarter? An eighth. <laughs> an eighth. An eighth, an eighth, of, a, an eighth of a metre. Yes. Um, but yeah, the pattern is to make this little flower basket, which I don't think either of us are going to do. No, I should use that on a keep, quilt. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep the little pattern because I like the little yeah. basket thingy. That would yeah. be good for... Because Mum has a tin where she puts all of her thread scraps. Mm using later mm -hmm. I might make one of those for myself mm -hmm. thread, thread scraps mm -hmm. and then bring them back to you because I good idea them. yes so that's your one that's my one what have we got next well we just saw this on one of the stools this didn't we? was from Lily Fabrics and yes. I bought a few things from them as well and <laughs> The, um, there was a lady and I both eyeing up the same stuff <laughs> um, and yeah from a distance it's tapestry but when you get up close it's kitties um, and you bought it for a... I think it'll make a really good, um, what do you call them? Carpet bag. Carpet bag. Carpet bag, yeah. yeah. We haven't got a pattern for that yet. No. But you bought a metre didn't you? And it's yeah. quite wide, it's 60 inches wide so yeah. I think there might be a person in, in its future as well. Yeah. But kitties, it's all killed. <laughs> And I saw some kind of tapestry style fabric and I bought the large colourway and the smaller, or the small, large print and the smaller print, print, weave, weave, weave. Design? Yeah. Mm. Mm. But um, I saw these, oh wow, well, they smell. Mm. Yeah. Musty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they've been, they've been, they've been in, in a warehouse. The, yeah. Um, but again, I thought they would make really awesome bags and they would make like um, a bag and a matching purse kind of mm. thing without it being too matchy matchy. So I've got half a metre of each of these and that was from the same stall, um, Lily Fabrics. I also got from them two other things which of course are right at the bottom of the back. So first off, this was the other fabric that mm. the lady that were looking at the cat fabric saw. <laughs> so we both bought exactly the same amount. She bought a metre of that and a metre and a half of this and I also have a metre and a half of this. It's like um, a crepe georgette I think. Um, but it's very sheer. It's got little birds on it and I'm going to make some kind of a top with this. In fact I think I might have bought two metres because oh. I... Oh! Hmm. I think you did. Dog wants playing with... <laughs> Um, yeah, I think I bought two meters, um, but yeah, so it's going to be some kind of top. Um, <laughs> one of the drapey tops that I have planned in my July makes and still not gotten around to because I have just been so ridiculously busy. But yeah, <laughs> we're going to have to throw a ball for her. Eventually. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> now that we've sorted the dog out and actually shut it out of the house, it's nice and sunny outside, so don't feel too sorry for it. Um, the other thing I got from Lily Fabrics was this. I think it's a peach skin, but I couldn't say for sure. It's very sheer again, um, but it's navy with these like orangey flowers on it. And um, yeah, somebody else was eyeing this up and trying to buy this at the same time as me as well. Um, I'm think planning on making a sew over it eve dress with it, and I may have to line it with some cotton lawn just so that it isn't super see through. Because looking, I can see you. Um, but yeah, I really liked that. I thought it was really pretty and it feels really soft. So and um, I have just got the Eve dress pattern in the Sew Over It Summer Sale, so I didn't tell you that, did I? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Um, nope. What's next from your pile? Right, well, um, this is all actually quilt making stuff. Um, I was looking for a particular design um, because I've used a focus fabric in um, a block of the month that I'm doing. Uh, by Sue Garman with the um, quilt show and I've run out of the focus fabric I'm not going to have enough so what I'm going to have to do is use small triangles of the focus fabric and put this around it to make the mountains and I think that'll work yeah and it's the same colours because yours was the one that you wanted was uh, red florals with gold detail on it yes um, so yeah I think that'll work, that'll work and then a bit more gold as well because you always need gold yeah well we saw that at the very end when we'd gone back to buy oh we've gone back to buy this let me find so on our on <laughs> our very very tipsy Saturday night which you guys witnessed um, with small girl type creature fixing my phone um, we um, <laughs> were <laughs> on the phone and accidentally mentioned Pokemon pajamas to a certain someone and there was Pokemon fabric and um, certain someone being Mitchell has now decided that he wants Pokemon pajamas so we went back right at the end and got the Pokemon fabric and whilst we were there they had the gold fabric that mum's just bought as well mum's a bit of a magpie she cannot resist the shiny things that's where I get my magpie-ness from so 
it's you know, catching. All our fault. <laughs> oh, and you've got your peacock. Yeah, that was right. the other bits and pieces that you found that you were very happy with. Yes, I'm also making a peacock quilt uh, with a beautiful peacock in the centre, and then which I've... I will include a picture of. Sorry to interrupt, but okay. I will put a picture of it somewhere along here. Although I don't know where because my usual picture place is now filled with mum, so it will probably be up here. And it's one that I've put together uh, with this um, medallion in the middle and then I'm putting a foundation pieced um, patchwork around it and I'm running out of material and Sean has asked me to do one for her because I've got enough peacocks left over. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, she's going to have this one. Yeah, I'm having this one because it's the trial one. And somebody quilted like five big peacocks thinking she'd need them for one quilt and it turns out she only needs one so she's got all these spare peacocks floating around and I am being very helpful and offering to take them off her hands so it's not like I'm going give me quilts she's you know being, being helpful. So there's all of this <laughs> and this is a cream that I bought four meters of uh, which is nice rather than just plain it's got a little design on it which you can probably just about well, see. Well I'm going to include close-ups of everything okay. so yeah you'll be able to see that. Yeah. And then for the backing, do you want me yeah. to do that? I this is quite nice story. Found this, which again I will include a close-up of for you. Which is a butterfly, and it's the large size, so that you don't have joins on yeah, the back it's of your quilt. Twenty inches wide. Yeah. Yeah. And interestingly, it's the butterfly design, and I used the black butterfly design on Nia and James's wedding quilt that That's I made for them. Big bird and baby bother. Right, <laughs> it's black and white cat orientated exactly. yeah. um, and then Sean's which was the very first quilt I made um, had green of this with the butterflies so we'll all end up with butterfly backing which I think is rather fun. Yeah I like that idea, yeah. we've all got the same back on our quilts just in different colours, I think that's lovely. I like that I'm coming around to the top of the queue to get another quilt now. Well, so. <laughs> oh yes. So we ended up at this place that had Cafe Facet um, doing a couple of like uh, meet and greets and signing of his books and things and they had all of his fabrics mm -hmm. and um, I've always fallen in love with them and like last year I saw some of the cabbages and I was eyeing them up but I think I'd already spent all of my money by the time I got to that point. I was very proud of myself this time. I managed to do an entire circuit of the entire place and not spend all my money. I was able to go back to places and purchase stuff that I had seen earlier. So yes, mm -hmm. that was day one. Day two, we'll talk about in a minute. Um, but yes, yeah, so we went to the Cafe Facet. Well, there, it wasn't the Cafe Facet. It was, I will put a link down below of where this was from. Mm -hmm. um, but I saw this seashell print um, cotton and I just fell in love with it. It's, I mean, I've got a thing for seashells and like nautical themed fabrics anyway. Um, but the colors in this one are so pretty. So I'm really excited and I think this is going to be one of my, it's going to be an Anna bodice, a by hand London Anna bodice and either a gathered skirt or a short circle skirt um, because I love that shape and I wear it all the time, especially in autumn because I can wear tights and stuff with it. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. And then, i just throw it on. <laughs> um, then we went back to a different shop that had um, more Cafe Facet fabrics and we'd gone back there because they didn't, in the first one that I've just mentioned, they didn't have this colourway of the cabbages and we got there and again this was kind of like after having looked at everything else and deciding that, that yes that is what I wanted, I've been wanting it for two years now, um, went back and got this one which is all purples, blues and kind of like um rusty, orangey, I don't know, I like it though. And we had everybody in the store helping <laughs> <laughs> to make the decision. We didn't, yeah, we didn't just get this one out. <laughs> we got all of the colourways of this fabric out. Yeah. And then they were all holding their bolts up to my face going, no, yes, <laughs> that one. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, we had everyone in there. So there's three and a half metres of this. And I think it's going to be the same thing, another by hand London and a bodice with a either gathered or circle skirt on it because um, I love that bodice and it shows off prints really well. Mm. Um, I've made it for you once before and it's not worked on you. You didn't like it as much. So mm. I turned it into an Eliza Lex bodice, mm -hmm. which you like much more. So I was thinking maybe that for the um, Lisa Chandler fabric. Right. But not sure yet, mm -hmm. but yeah. So that one. Oh yeah, you've got a whole bunch of... Well, my um, brother-in-law 
is a uh, games mad person and he's dragging like a, person. He's an online gamer. He plays World of Warcraft with me and my brother and his and some of his family as well. Um, and he also loves the Anne McCaffrey books. He's got a real thing for dragons. Mm. Anything with dragons in it, but Anne McCaffrey is his first love. And he wants me to make him a dragon quilt, but Kampf, who is the brown dragon that yes. managed to rescue the Red Star. Or no, no, well, he, he went to the Red Star. Went to the Red Star. And then came back from the Red Star, which was a big thing, because the Red Star is obviously like a star away from the planet and dragon, dragons in, in Pern can teleport. So yeah, it was a big thing. And also he managed to score a gold. So um, anyone who reads the books will know what I'm talking about. The rest of you will just think we're completely bonkers. Yep. <laughs> um, but um, Uncle Patrick's online gaming names for all of the games that he plays is Kanth, and that's his email address as well, and that's his favourite dragon. So, um, we were very careful to make sure that we got all brown fabrics, weren't mm. we? Mm. No bronze, mm. because um, something was some silk sheen. too, because that will give yeah. a nice texture. That's what you're thinking, is it? There's yes. lots of different textures there, yes. and interest. I mean, these were little bits and pieces that we got from this little random store that was just selling off fabrics ridiculously cheaply, um, and. Uh, by pre-cut lengths and I got something from them as well but these were in their little kind of like 50p a, a thing section so yeah so you've got a whole bunch of mm. randomness there and, and I might even use some of that in it on the yeah. other hand I might make another bag with it oh yeah you made a bag with this previously um and I saw love it this again material. must have it's in mm. it's the center of your evening bag that I made you in black silk yes isn't it? oh yes 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 that's right so there's that oh he's not very, he's not trying to distract us that's nice uh, spoke too soon. <laughs> <laughs> spoke way too soon. <laughs> the washing fairy is peeping in at the window. Yes. <laughs> He's wait till he starts bringing things in, trying to photo bomb us <laughs> with them. Any minute now. Uh, any minute now. Yeah. Um, so from the the same store that Mum got the little bits and pieces of brown fabric from, um, I found this, which I have absolutely no idea what it is, um, but it was five pounds for two meters. Um, and I am going to make a skirt with it because I think it is awesome. It's very see-through, so it's going to need lining, but it's got some really nice drape in it. Um, and I just, I like the sheen. It's slightly shiny and it's got spots and it's green. Um, so yeah, no idea what it is. Definitely polyester. Five pounds for two meters. It will be a skirt. Mm. Yes. I'm going to have to show you the aftermath of this. Mum's having fits. <laughs> this is a nice neat pile. Mine's just on the, on the chair. It's how she does it. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh, what more? Yeah. Oh, you got well. I, I mean, I have loads more to show you, but Mum actually does have some more to show. You. <laughs> right. So when we went to the knitting and stitching show, we came across UK Alpaca, and they were doing these cones, um, which was I think how much is on this one? Uh, four hundred and fifty meters of alpaca yarn, and it was. Thirty-two pounds, and we got a discount on that one as well, um, which is amazing. And Mum has actually knit me a jumper out of this, and um, the cone has just not gone down, has it? No, it was like the never-ending <laughs> cone. Never-ending cone. Which, given that this one was the never-ending cone, look what she's hugging. <laughs> How much she got in there? There's an... um, two thousand. Well, it weighs two thousand six hundred and twenty-eight grams. It says it's two hundred and twenty-five meters. Per hundred grams. Per hundred grams. Oh, oh, is that ah. what we've done? Because oh. <laughs> come on, we've got so much left. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh. <laughs> we've sussed it. So okay. there's 642 grams on here, and it's 450 meters per hundred grams. So there's a lot. That's why it was not going down. That's why it wasn't going down. <laughs> we think this one's not going to go down. This one's going to be amazing. Well, I reckon this is going to do a fair few jumpers. And <laughs> Big Big Bird wants a jumper that I'd knitted for myself. And yeah. She wants one. Um, and she initially wanted it in like a denim blue colour, hadn't she? Yes. But then we showed her this, and she she likes this, so it's going to be in this. But I think there'll be about four or five jumpers coming out of this, don't it's you? It's a good job that it's a colour that everyone wants. But it is gorgeous. It's alpaca. It's, it's lovely so to knit with. It's soft and it's just... Yeah, you like knitting with it off oh. the cone, didn't you? I did. And it, yeah, off the cone is brilliant because you don't keep joining. Um, 
and it, you just sit it on the floor while you're knitting and choo. So this one's much more portable and has been taken away with it. <laughs> this one might not, <laughs> might not be quite so portable. Um, but when you bought, if you bought um, yarn from them, you also got a free pattern. Um, so mum, well I saw this one, which that photo really doesn't do it justice. Is there a better photo? No, not really. No, it was a um, it, it's really nice cardigan. I saw that and it was like, ooh. That might make a nice change from the hortensias, as much as I love the hortensias. Oh, that's double knit though. You could do a hortensia in that, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so I saw this one and the lady was like, oh, would you like that? And we hadn't realised that you got the pattern free if you bought the wool, so she gave it to us. And mum was like, here's the money. She's like, no, 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 it's yours. And then I saw this one um, that was on the mannequin. For me. From, and I thought, mum will really like that. And I showed her and she did. So, and then we were like, can we have that one too? And then again, mum went to pay her and she was like, don't be daft, you just spent all that money on wool, you can have it. Because <laughs> these were four pounds at the show or five pounds usually. Um, but that's all from UK Alpaca, who again, I will put their de the details down below. Mind you, you look at this amount of wool and it cost 122 pounds, but we had 10% off 10 VIPs. Off. So it's just over a hundred quid in the end. Yeah. Um, and this one, was 32 yeah I mean it's really good value yeah if you bought the if you bought the balls of wool you would be oh. spending well you've got your covered in alpaca now though yes yeah. that would have cost a fortune yeah so they were very happy with those bargain there weren't very many sewing patterns at the show but given that it was a quilting show that's not really mm. that much of a surprise there were a few though and I stumbled across um, the updated version of the Deer and Doe Belladon um, which I have been eyeing up and I do have the original um, but I'm very glad that I saw this because um, they have there was gape issues with the little keyhole of the little keyhole detail at the back and they've mm -hmm. fixed that and they've also added in an option to have like no keyhole at all um which given that that's like half the fun of the dress i don't think i will ever make that but i was really pleased to pick that one up and it means that my original will be going into the traveling pattern box which i'm definitely going to be doing i just need to film all my pattern videos first and then work out what i can put in there but yeah that's happening and then the other thing we stumbled across um this company that have got their own um print fabric machine um which like Spoonflower and they do all these designs themselves and they had some really awesome quilts that they'd made with it very didn't they? pretty um, mm. like flamingos and stuff like that but mm. also actual picture quilts and things mm. um, but I saw this one and I just thought it would make an awesome bag so I picked up half a meter of that and it was supposed to be 13 pounds per meter and he gave me the half meter for a fiver bless him so yeah really like that I think it's going to make a nice bag Right. So, no. <laughs> so as much as mum is a quilter, she does do uh, dressmaking as well. And um, you've just finished your very own v Vogue V8577, um, which looks awesome on you because I wore mine at home and she was like, oh, that's nice. They're making noise. And um, Sean was my mentor to make it. Well, I, I haven't been making clothes for a long time since she was only this big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I helped. Mm. I helped. Um, but mum's got the bug, so she wanted her very own French curve, or as they've christened it at work, French penis. So she has her own French curve <laughs> and a uh, seam gauge. Mm -hmm. She's got seam gauge, um, tweezers because she has tweezer envy. And um, I, I got tweezers with my Benina, she didn't get them with hers. No. And um, snips, fabric snips. So yeah, I think we might need to go and rescue the dog, it's making noise. Have you done all of yours? I think so. There's only thread now. Yeah. yeah. That's boring. So I don't think no, you need it so much. Yeah, it's, you're not going anywhere. Oh. <laughs> I will clean up this mess, I promise. Yeah, no, sure. <laughs> so, as I mentioned, I spent all of my money on the first day, but that was intentional because I was like, I'd gone around the whole thing and we'd seen all the stuff and it was like, no, I'm going to go back and buy the few bits and pieces that I wanted. And then we realised that we missed a section out. Because of course we did. Uh, yeah. So we went there and it was um, Empress Mills. And if you went to Empress Mills before 11 o'clock, you got a 10% discount on your purchases. And so mum went and bought a whole bunch of large kinds of thread, which are thread, so we won't show you. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we've got thread. Um, but they also had these um, sort of textured denims, um, which had 2% stretch in them, which is what you need for ginger jeans. 
and uh, yeah, I, they have some amazing colours but I fell in love with the red one and mum very kindly lent me the money to buy it so that I could have it, <laughs> which is very nice of her. Because they were doing a show deal, it was £10 per metre but if you bought three metres it was £25 and because we had the show discount, um, because we got there before 11, mm. so it was £22.50 uh, for three metres. So these, at some point when I get round to making them, will be ginger jeans, which I am very much looking forward to having because... I could wear them to Cow's Week and blend right in. <laughs> and then finally, sort of, um, Mum was looking at the Kaleidoscope books and um, I'd gone back over to the shop that had the, uh, the Cafe Facet fabrics and it's Lady So-and-So. And, -so, and uh, they also have Tula Pink fabrics and um, I saw this one, which is called Kitten Disco. <laughs> <laughs> and it's mental. <laughs> now they, they, weren't, they weren't doing um, fat quarters, but you could have a long quarter. Um, but I, given that the cats are quite large, I didn't think that I would end up with a decent amount of cats on a quarter. So I went back and found mum and said, what have you got on the bottom of your purse? Because I've got this much. And um, yeah, managed to scrape together enough to get half a metre. And then the lady that was cutting it actually talked me into 45 centimetres of it, because that way there's a full cat cut off there with about a quarter of an inch seam allowance so that there was no like the top here there's a kitty that's lost its head um and she didn't want to do that she wanted to to leave it so that there was a decent amount of cats off for me and also for the person that bought the uh, remaining 60 centimeters so yeah that one there's more there is more there's more there's always more <laughs> it doesn't stop is that it no. So the Festival of Quilts is at the NEC in Birmingham and Big Bird happens to live in Sunny Nunny which is about it's about 45 minute drive? Yeah. About 45 minute drive away from the NEC. Um, but we don't know exactly because we do a different route every time we go. <laughs> every time. Every time. Yeah. And there's sneaky roundabouts that aren't roundabouts until you get to them and then suddenly there's a roundabout. So yeah, we, we had a lot of fun getting there. Yeah, we did. Um, both days. Uh, but yeah, that meant that we were staying at Big Bird's house and Big Bird is Small Girl Type Creature's mum and Small Girl Type Creature had bought me this um, awesome scuba from Fabric Styles for my birthday. My birthday is in May. Um, but she didn't, her birthday's the day after, she didn't get her present till I saw her this weekend and uh, vice versa. So this is an awesome scoop of fabric. Um, I actually thought it was just abstract like clouds but it turns out there's flowers on it. So awesome. It's pretty. Yeah, and it's going to be another skater dress, a McCall's M6574, I think I've got that right. So it's going to be another one of those. Dad! Dad! Yes. Shush! Still not done. Sorry, Mum. All right, more. <laughs> yeah. So the day before, the Friday, we went to Hobbycraft. We mm -hmm. actually went to the Big Boots, but it happened to be next to Hobbycraft, so it'd be rude not to go in. Um, and the I wasn't at all impressed with the selection of fabrics this time. There was because mm -hmm. I got this one from Hobbycraft in at uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I didn't, nothing that jumped out at me, which is probably good because I've got enough fabric. Um, but they had the uh, Love Sewing magazine which came with these two Butterick patterns. I'm really excited about this one. Um, I think that's a really awesome dress. Um, I like version A and B on this skirt. Um, not a fan of elasticated waists. don't think they're overly flattering so um, yeah won't be making C or D but I think the, pin, uh, the pencil skirt is very cute so I've got that and then it wouldn't be me <laughs> if I hadn't ordered stuff online whilst I was away and I had... Um, oh, you bought this by the way. Um, oh, did I? Yeah, you did. Thank you. Bias binding. Because she used all of mine. Oh, I did. That's so, true. Yes, in her dressmaking pursuits. It's true. So I have um, some more dress, uh, some more bias binding. I absolutely hate it when they deliver it like this. I ordered 25 metres of each. I want it on a roll. Why do they do this? Why? Um, because it shows the picture has it on a roll. But anyway, so I've got red and white. And then I got some more of the Viola by, by Timeless Treasures, uh, the quilting cotton that I made Natida's purse from. Um, I've actually had two more orders for two more purses. So I got a metre of this. I think I might have bought the last metre that's in the UK. Um, I definitely bought the last metre from this seller. And it was buy three, get one free on fat quarters. So I think this was £13 for a metre, which is actually way more than I paid for it coming from Hong Kong. But I definitely bought the last half metre of that one as well. So um, if you find this and you want it, buy it because there's very little of it left. 
Um, but yeah, that was everything. Is that absolutely bit... everything? Well, <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I can see some pens in there. Oh yeah, no, I saw those them in my vlog. Oh, right. I mean, <laughs> you all know I like stationery. Yeah, I can't walk past a stationery store and not no. look at it. And that happened to be uh, the where the boots was as well. There was a W H Smiths. Mm. What's a girl to do? <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's everything. Um, where are you going? Oh no, it's not. We've got cards. <laughs> we lied. Yeah, we um, found this really cute um, stall that was doing. Um, this is like quilted. Uh, it, 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 the the cards aren't obviously, but the the originals were kind of like yes, um, quilted, pieced, embroidered, embellished, amazing pieces of art, and then they're by Amy but Amy Butcher. Um, and then Bug Art turned them into cards and um, Mum saw the peacocks and I saw the kitty on top of a pile of cushions um, so yeah we bought those as well hmm. and chocolate but there's no chocolate to show you because we ate that afraid so? yeah <laughs> in fact I bought chocolate both days and on Saturday night Mum insisted on having one of my chocolates because she wanted chocolate mm. and she doesn't like the far kind of chocolate I like so she wouldn't listen to me when I said no you won't like it no. we had some anyway oh it was regretted bad. it it's like perfume yeah I love rose and violet <laughs> creams Ooh. she was not impressed but no. you wouldn't take no for an answer would you? no no no, no. you wouldn't listen to me no, no. so yeah um, that's everything <laughs> um, I think I think in total I spent over the weekend um, three hundred and fifty pounds. Um, mm. I don't even want to think about what you spent. Not nearly as much as mm. that. Oh well, well I, I don't know the wool. I <laughs> should probably be cone of wool yeah. there. Yeah, um, yeah, we. Yeah, pretty much. We had a very collectively expensive weekend, but it was wonderful, wasn't mm. it? It was yeah, so much fun. It was really great fun. It was lovely going with family and friends yeah. too. Yeah, it's um, Joe, uh, Big Bird, and her mum came with us, mm. um, and they go off and do their own kind of thing because we shop them way slower than they do. In fact, mum shops like way slower than I do, so I tend to <laughs> like go up and down an aisle and come back. Um, Killing me. Yes, yeah. she's a liability. I wore the brightest dress I could on the Saturday, so she couldn't lose me. And you still managed a few times. <laughs> yeah. Where is she? Um, but yeah, we had a wonderful time. It was amazing. So um, thank you very much for taking us. It's very kind yeah, of it was you. Good fun. Yes, um, we're debating thank whether we're going coming. to the knitting and stitching show in mm. Ali Pali in mm. October or November but we're thinking maybe twice a year of spending space yes. on the mainland <laughs> is probably <laughs> enough <laughs> um, mm. yeah on that note I really hope you've enjoyed having a look at what we spent all of our hard-earned money on this last weekend mm. if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe and I will see you again very soon bye bye, bye. <laughs> Ha ha ha!